welcome to lesson ten of Persian grammar in Persian campus. In the previous video, we learned how to make sentences in present tense. Today, we are going to learn the present continuous. We use present continuous for actions that are happening right now at this time. For hundreds of years, the construction of present tense that I introduced to you in the lesson nine was used to indicate continuous. Around a hundred years ago, a construction entered into Persian, which changed the grammar a little bit. Me plus verb plus endings, which originally marked the present continuous. Is now used to refer to simple present tense, but why this happened? Because a new form started showing present continuous, and the language didn't need two forms for one role. Literally, people first resist calling this new form as present continuous, hale estemrari in Persian, and they call it as hale mustamer or mustamar. Which has the same meaning as present progressive or continuous. Little by little, they accepted the language has changed. Now, hale stemrari refers to this form and to mark continuity in an action. The general structure of this tense is like this: the conjugated form of the verb dashtan, meaning to have. Plus the conjugated form of the main verb in the present tense. It means we have to conjugate the verb dashtan as a normal verb in present tense for person and numbers, and then add it before the main verb. Do you remember how we conjugate dashtan in present tense? It doesn't take the prefix me, which is used before the verbs in present tense. That is, daram. The verbal root dar plus the first person singular ending am. For the others, that would be dari, darad formal, dare informal, darim, darid, darand or daran. So to say I am going, we use daram plus miram. Which the formal form is daram miravam. See lesson nine for present tense. Let's see some main verbs and try to change them to the present continuous. Raftan means to go. The present root is rav formal and re informal. Guftan means to say. The present root is go. Formal and g informal. Khandan means to read. The present root is khan, formal and khun, informal. Didan means to see. The present root is bin, formal and informal. Khordan means to eat. The present root is khor, formal and informal. Part kardan means to throw. The present root is part kon. Now let's make the present continuous. Man daram miravam or daram miram. To dari migui formal or dari migi. Informal. You are saying, "U darad mi khanad." Formal, or "dare mi khune." She or he is reading. Ma darim mi binim, or "darim mi binim." We are saying, "Shoma." دارید میخورید or دارید میخورید you are eating آنها دارند پرت میکنند or دارند پرت میکنند 
They are throwing. That was about the affirmative form. To change these sentences to their negative form, as you have learned in lesson six, we add na and its allomorphs before the main verb. But the point is that we have to omit the auxiliary verb dashtan. It's because the construction is so new in the language that the negative form is not fully made yet. So the above sentences change to man nemiravam or nemiram. I'm not going. To nemigui or to nemigi. You're not saying. U nemikhanad or nemikhune. She or he isn't reading. Man nemibinam or nemibinam. Shoma nemikhorid or nemikhorid. You aren't eating. آنها پارت نمی کنند or پارت نمی کنند. They aren't throwing. As you see, the negative of this construction is the same as the negative in present tense. Okay, that was the end of lesson 10. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit the website www.persiancampus.com for more videos, podcasts, expressions, and songs. Bye!